Okay, good afternoon, this is Lucky Links. I'm gonna show you a trick here. A couple, someone asked me a, a few videos ago, I, I showed you guys how to do something. I don't remember what it was. Was it playing cards or what it was? Whatever I, I did. They said, please do more videos like this uh, where I show people how to take the cards to gain a deeper understanding of a situation or to illuminate things more profoundly, deeply. Uh, I'm in a public place right now. I've been super busy these days. I'm actually traveling to clients today and uh, I'm doing lots of astrology charts so there will be no full moon video this time but I am trying to shoot some videos as I'm on the go so uh, I apologize for the public place. Uh, this one is based on, I had a very unique experience when I got out of grad school I was teaching rhetoric at DePaul University in Chicago. And I have a very unique perspective in that while teaching rhetoric, I got to a point in my life where I started to look at any situation, any set of facts, any, anything at all could be used as an argument, depending upon which part of it you used. It got to the point where I thought it was almost monstrous because two people could use the same source and argue opposite side by just, you know, using a certain part of the argument to maintain their point, to reinforce whatever point they were trying to make. And we were living in a day, an age where argument is ubiquitous. It is everywhere. Everywhere you look, there are people arguing and they're getting emotional. They're getting extremely emotional when they do. Um, and whenever I hear people get emotional, I think about rhetoric and I think about an emotional appeal. It was one of the arguments that we taught people how to do in, in rhetoric. Um, when you do an emotional appeal, you want to hit a person in all of their emotions and you want to play dirty. And you want to play dirty and throw them off balance and make them emotional so that they come over to your side, whatever that side is. Now sometimes that's used nobly and sometimes not so nobly. And these days, I start, whenever someone hits me with an emotional appeal, I immediately go, what are they trying to convince me? and why. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little trick with the cards right now that's going to make you look like the wisest person in the room for the holidays while everyone around you is getting all angry and fighting and, and emotional or <laughs> no matter where you are, at work, wherever it is. This trick is going to, this is going to help you to become the one that's sensible and, 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 and sees the bigger picture that no one's seeing. How you approach it will determine how they respond to you, however. Um, this uses one card. Don't get complicated with this. Don't use three cards. Don't use four cards. Don't use two. It uses one card. Use one card. I see people get... One of the, thing, one of the biggest mistakes I think that people make is that they, they use too many cards for things. They'll be like, will he call me? And then they'll throw out 50 cards. They'll do a grand tableau and go, will he call me? And it's like, I'm confused, I wonder why. You just, you just put everything including their blood type out on the table and you're wondering why you're confused with all this information. You wanna keep it concise and you wanna keep it to the point. So you're gonna use one card for this. Also, um, be aware that while everyone is getting emotional, they will be off balance and that's, there's gonna be a lot of facts and a lot of things that people are gonna throw out there that aren't important. The whole point of this is what is important. And I'm using for this my Black Cat Oracle. This is my mind that I designed. Um, and I'm going to use a couple, two hot button topics right now. And then I'm going to use a hypothetical. The two really hot button topics. One right now that's really hot button is this whole thing with the young woman who's on the cover of Time Magazine that everyone is saying is the woman of the year, the climate. Everyone's arguing over this young, this, she's a teenager. Uh, she's a child still. She, she is still a child. Um, for those of you who forgot what it's like to be 16, it's not easy. Um, <laughs> there's a lot that's being expected of you to behave as an adult, and yet you're still being treated as a child, and you're not fully developed emotionally. You're not fully developed um, uh, intellectually. There's still more maturity that has to happen at this point. So people are fighting over this individual on both sides. And I'm going to say, before I even show you how to do this, and I'm going to use her as an example, that the fact that this child is being placed in the middle of an argument as a scapegoat and is being used 
as you know to carry the sins of the world if people don't see anything wrong with that then step back and check yourself because this is this is this is someone who still needs to be allowed to be a child not placed in the position where she is a scapegoat for all of humanity's sins not to mention the fact that people are fighting on both sides using her for leverage um, and that's first. The second thing is, is, is while that's happening and people are getting emotional, that sets my bells off and I go, rhetoric. So while everyone's getting emotional and fighting on both sides of the situation, which really aren't what's important, what, the points that everyone's making about all of this are not what's important. And I know that because everyone's getting emotional. When people are getting emotional, the important point is usually missed. Then it becomes about a person's feelings and their feelings are attached to a whole bunch of sh stuff that goes on their life doesn't tell you what's important in the situation so what we're going to do is we're going to ask what is important so i'm shuffling the cards what is in this situation what is really important okay and as i divide the cards all right the spy what's really important is that something is being done in secret that no one is seeing. So this young woman is not only being used as a scapegoat, as a sins for everyone in the world, but she is also being used as misdirection, the way a magician uh, puts an assistant on stage to keep everyone occupied while the trick is being done. Okay? So, and I just, my cards just went flying, so excuse me. So that's what's really important. So while everyone's fighting about this and that about this, there's a lot of emotion that's misdirecting what's really going on. And so when you see people fighting about this and getting all emotional and, and, and getting angry over a, 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 someone who still has to mature and is still a, a child, say, hey, and what's really being done behind the scenes, that's what's really important. And now you sound like the wise person in the room. Now let's look at the other one. Um, let's look at the other big hot button topic, at least here in the States, because I know you guys in the rest of the world are dealing with your own political hot buttons. The impeachment thing here, you guys have already seen me do a video on that. What's really important, while people are, are fighting on both sides about this president, what's really important? Okay. What's really important? Okay, justice. What's really important that no one's talking about is the fact that the justice system is actually corrupt. And this makes total sense because uh, for those of you who actually do readings for a living, uh, I see this all the time with clients. People are dealing with situations right now where they're dealing with the courts and the, systems, the court system is so corrupt that people cannot get justice. And it has been overrun with that which is corrupt, that which is sinister, and individuals who have ill intent behind it. And it's being used to crush and destroy people. And in this case, it's actually being used to crush and destroy the world. So this has very little to do with um, any political candidate's personality or apparent personality, um, especially in this case, where watch this individual who, by the way, was, was, a, was an actor. He was a reality show actor. What's really what no one's pointing out is that the, the, the situation, the justice system itself is corrupt. The laws and who is being supported in the justice system is corrupt. And that's what's important. So now we're going to do another one. We, let's, let's take it into the mundane. We're a child, a, ch uh, a, a, a daughter, a daughter, um, let's say an adult, adult daughter, a, a mother and her child, but the, the adult. She's an adult uh, woman, okay? So a mother and her adult daughter are fighting over who's right. Uh, the adult woman wants to live her life. The mother's telling her how she has to live it. And then, um, um, they're fighting over it, what's really important, uh, cut the cards, and what's really important is faith. Okay, so what's really the important situation here is the mother does not have faith in herself in the way that she raised her daughter to be an autonomous y a woman, and um, she doesn't have faith in her daughter to be able to make her own decisions, 
And the daughter does not have faith in herself either, or she wouldn't be getting emotional and fighting with her mother trying to defend herself. She would simply say, I'm cool with, I'm cool with who I am and not need to get engaged in that. So really what's involved here is faith, the faith of the mother, the faith of the daughter, and the faith of the daughter who went up in a situation uh, where karmically she was prone to this herself and the mother was prone to this before the daughter ever came into the picture or it wouldn't be the case. So it's really about having, does one have confidence, does one have faith in one's own abilities? Really what is important. So while both people are fighting about whatever the situation, this is really about someone not having faith in their own ability, not having faith in another person's ability, not having faith or confidence in themselves. So that's how you do it. So this holiday season, when everyone's sitting around the table and people start fighting, you can take out your cards and you can say, hey, what's really important in this situation? And then you will look like the wise man or woman in the room because you will be the one who is able to speak without emotion. And if for some reason people attack you for doing so, well then, that's a whole other video. I'm Lucky Lynx, as always, wishing you success and good fortune in all that you do. If you would like to get a reading from me, 779-302-8009 or conjurehope at gmail.com. If you would like to get your Tibetan astrology chart done, I can help you out there. I am taking uh, pre-orders now for people's charts. I'm actually kind of backed up doing people's charts, but uh, so now's the time to do it. Uh, and you will be put in the queue. So contact me if you want to learn how to do that. And um, if you would like to do a Tibetan kill core, that's where I build a map of your life. And I use Tibetan bond processes to either set things in motion, bring things into being, remove obstacles. And I will also, I also use Tibetan divination to look at what your perspective is or where you're looking at it from and then where the Tibetan deities are looking at it from. Usually the two do not match and somewhere in the middle is a way to help the person align themselves. Because usually when the Tibetan deities are saying, hey, this is what's going on, it's because the Tibetan deities are trying to actually um, move you towards something that you're actually trying to realize in this life. Um, so if you want to take a class with me, I have a class in how to read tarot, basic, advanced. I have one in how to read Lenormand basic and Lenormand grand tableau. I also have one in how to read Mexican lottery, how to be playing cards and how to read crystal balls. Um, for those of you who've donated, thank you so much for donating. If you would like to donate to help keep these videos coming, I will put my PayPal, my Venmo in the spot below. Remember, while everyone's getting emotional, you can simply split the cards and say what is really important.